Hello, welcome to the channel. East Florida Explorer here. And happy Cemetery Sunday. Today I'm at the Providence Community Christian Church, established in 1855. And also, right behind this church is the Providence Cemetery in Windsor, Florida. And I want to thank the very nice family the father and daughter that I just met at another cemetery that wasn't too far from here that they suggested I come and visit this cemetery and this beautiful church here and get a video. And I want to thank them so much for that because this is a very beautiful place. A sorts of a, I'd say graveyard since the church is here on the property. Take a small walk around this old cemetery here. Entering into the cemetery now. First ones that caught my eye over here are these two. Willie Joe, wife of E.R. Zetruer. 1885 to 1920. And Edgar R. Zetruler. 1884 to 1945. Beautiful tombstones there. Wow, some really old looking graves. I.H. Hook, 1839 to 1884, an O.G. Hook, very old grave, Maud, infant daughter of W.B. and Florence Pfeiffer, born June 23rd, 1891, and died November 10th, 1891. I take these little lands, said he, and lay them in my breast. Protection thou shalt find in me, and me be ever blessed. Here's some really old looking areas, kind of raised brick graves, old looking bricks too. Wow, and these are right kind of behind the church. Wondering if these could be the oldest here. And this whole area behind the church, it really looks like these could be the oldest graves. A lot of them, are just like a stone laying there and then they have kind of put names with just the stone to remember who was actually here like this one just a stone and with a new piece of granite wow very neat Love these older cemeteries. Like to come and respect them. The people that lived here first, many generations before me. Clarence A. Cameron, 1888 to 1925. Beautiful grave. 
our mother at rest, Caroline, Augusta, wife of John, Coltier, born in 1858 and passed away in 1904. And there are a lot of baby graves here. I'm starting to notice in memory of Alexander Coulter, 1829-1889 God in his wisdom has recalled the precious one his love had given and through the body molders here the soul is safe in heaven seems like it's a quite big family in the area the Coltier family Viola, born May 1886 and died May 1887, gone to be an angel. And Verdi Coulter, born January 17th, 1888 and passed away April 28th, 1890. Another little angel before the heavenly throne. Such a really well taken care of cemetery here in Windsor. Lots of beautiful little graves. Lottie J, daughter of L and Mary Guthrie. Born in 1893 and passed away in 1895. Leonard F., son of Ellen Mary Cutthree, also was born in 1888 in March and then died in April of 1888. Budded on earth. To bloom in heaven. Wow, this place is so beautiful. Thank you again to the nice people that told me about this cemetery when I was at the St. Paul's Memorial Cemetery. And they said that that was, that their property bordered all along that cemetery. And the nice gentleman came very very nice people asked us if we were doing okay because it's really far out in the country and told us a lot of interesting facts information of the area just a beautiful area with a lot of rich history These big monument style graves always seem to attract me over the tallest ones in the cemetery are always these. So all these graves in this whole area are the Orman family, which is very strange. I do a lot of cemeteries in Orman Beach, Florida, which was named after James Ormond. I wonder if this is the same Ormond family. J.N. Ormond. Prices Co. Florida Home Guards in the CSA. So many beautiful old graves. Edward Lewis Jr. 
1839 to 1884. I've had a lot of camera overheats in this cemetery, standing in the shade right now. I'm not sure if it's from the heat or just how historic this place is. I think sometimes it affects my GoPro. But this is an old cemetery. Lots of beautiful graves. Just a short little cemetery walk this weekend. Big cemetery here. Thanks for joining me on this Cemetery Sunday. And I'll see you guys next time.